Katie, when she was growing up, was a very energetic bundle of fun, always had a football at her feet. Any time she had the chance, front rooms, dining rooms, anywhere we could go, she, as soon as she was walking, kicking the ball. I first met Katie in the Cornwall Centre of Excellence. Uh, she would have been eight or nine years old in our under 10 squad and even then you could tell she just stood out on the pitch. She loved having the ball at her feet, she loved taking on players and she just played with a smile on her face. She came to school here, New Kitchen Ferris School, from year seven to year 11 when she was in year six. She came up for a primary football festival and I was told, come out and see this girl, she's amazing. And there she was, you know, on the ball dominating it. It was a mixed tournament and literally within two minutes of me being out here she put the ball into the top net. At break and lunch times she'd always be out. Other members of staff constantly coming to say, have you seen Katie? She's run rings around these boys. When she was young there wasn't a girls football team within the Newquay area. She started off, uh, we run a money club at Newquay FC Youth every Saturday morning and that's where we first saw Katie and then she was scouted along the way and now uh, her journey is, is with the Lionesses. The work she did with Newquay in, in, you know, as a young girl I think really kind of set out the resilience the skills that kind of put you you know above and beyond. I mean she gave up a lot of teenage life to, to get where she is today. It was always football, football, football. We all knew that she had a talent. It wasn't look at me, it was I can do this but I can also help. Her attitude was just tremendous. Down here in Cornwall there's not a lot of facilities. Having the facilities that the Football Foundation has uh, provided has is, is changed the dynamic of the school. Katie would have played on the first Astro that we had through the Football Foundation and now it's been upgraded um, through more funding. It's now led on to a fantastic setup. So Nuki Football Club now have a girls section. Our school now have a, a girls extracurricular club that's thriving. Without the Football Foundation funding, we, we just wouldn't have the facilities in Cornwall. We don't have the infrastructure, we don't have professional clubs. When we think about Katie and her journey, you know, having access to top facilities has only helped her. There's been an influx of players, boys and girls, but predominantly girls. You can train in all weather types, whether it's sunny, raining, and you can still have fun. It's really important that the facilities that there are available out there are both for women and girls as well as you know the boys and men because that's going to obviously make them feel that they have that equal access and equal opportunities. The facility allows every single player that opportunity to live the dream that Katie's had. When Katie got the call up, obviously we were all very, very proud of her. We all did cry, just absolutely over the moon for Katie. There's not many people who make it and like she is an ambassador and an inspiration to every girl in, in Newquay and, and the Cornwall football fraternity. So Katie's been a really good supporter of the school and the clubs. So over the last few summers when she's at home, she'll come along to anything like the Wildcat set up that we have in the summer holidays. And last week we held a, a sports event and she was, we were lucky enough for Katie to come down. She literally had a queue out the door, boys and girls that wanted to meet her, have a photo of her. And I think that shows you how much she's had an impact. Last week I met Katie and I think that moment was a highlight of my year. Katie, she's one of the best attacking midfielders for England, kind of inspires me to want to do the same thing as her and play for England as well at some point. I think it's incredibly inspiring. It makes girls in the school think they can achieve that goal that Katie has. You know, she's done a fantastic job. We're really proud of what she's achieved. She's an inspiration. 